Welcome. Today I'll be showing you how I drafted these sleeve blocks. The smaller one was drafted with the exact measurements of my arm and I'll be using this when I'm sewing with stretchy fabrics. The bigger one has ease allowance and sewing allowance all around it. And as you can see, there is a dart at the elbow line. These are the measurements you need to draft the slip block. Rule a line at the center of your pattern paper. On this line, place the underarm measure. Square this to the two sides of the center line. Mark the midpoint of this line. Square this as well. This is the elbow line. From the top mark go down by 0.75 inch square the line as well divide the circumference of the bicep by 4 and place the value right here and here as well here again divide the elbow circumference by 4 and place the mark on on both sides of the center line divide the wrist measure by 4 and place the value on both sides Rule a line connecting these three points, the wrist, the elbow and the bicep. Extend this line by the overarm length, that is the total sleeve length. Measure an inch to the left. From here, rule a slanted line which is exactly half the length of the wrist, about 0.75 inch beneath the initial wrist line. Mark the midpoint of this line. Connect this first point to this elbow line, the midpoint to this midpoint, and finally this one to this point. two points and divide it by four.
Mark the midpoint of this line. Divide this one by two and go up from the midpoint by by zero point five inch. Divide this one by two as well. And from the midpoint, move in to the right by an inch. Connect this marked point like so. Using a French curve, connect this point like so. So far this is the view of the sleeve block. Fold the side line from the top down to the elbow line. Using a tracing wheel, trace this curve down to the midline. So I'll start here at the elbow line and I'll trace the midline upwards and I'll trace the curve as well. Using a pencil, mark out the indented lines. Repeat this whole process at this other side of the sleeve block. Move down to the lower part of the sleeve block and fold from this elbow line down to the wrist line. Trace from here to this point and up to the elbow line.
repeat this whole process right here. From this end of the elbow line, moving to the left by 3 inches. Now measure the difference between the two side lines. Divide the value by 2 and place it from this elbow line downwards. Connect this point to this point. This forms the dart of the sleeve. Finally, this is the sleeve block. Now I'm going to place the sewing allowance all around the sides of the block. I'm going to mark the center of the sleeve, the front curve and the back curve. As you can see, the front curve is deeper than the back curve and of course this is that. This is the end of this tutorial. Thank you so much for staying with me. Please like, share and subscribe.